Hey boys, it's Arm None. Today, we're gonna be upgrading the Toyota GR Supra in Forza Horizon 5. Of course, the game just got released and I figured this would be a, a good second episode of the series. So we're gonna actually enter the festival right now because I've never been into it before and we're gonna see what we can do. Oh, they give you a few cars for free, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Redeem reward? Two wheel spins? Dog, so kind. What I want to focus on today though- Looking to upgrade your ride? You've come to the right place. Let me show you around. Is the GR Supra. Um, oh, yeah, dog. Oh, trust me, I know how to upgrade a car. Okay, thank you. Um, so there's a lot of things that you can actually do. If you want to change your aerodynamics, it's all here. Okay, hold on. Tires? Uh-huh. Oh, we have tires, my friend. Oh. I, I wonder what's what's going to be in this category. Parts for your engine? Right here. Really? Okay, hold on. Let's see. Platform and handling upgrades. I wonder if this is going to be it. Adjust your handling here. Okay, yeah, handling. Drivetrain. Transmission. You can swap out your drivetrain here. All right, guys. So, we're going to start off strong here. We're going to put the HKS wide body on the Supra. This looks crazy. Let's do it. I love the look of that. That is so sick. Next up, for the rear wing, we can actually change this if we want to. So I had the uh, the regular Toyota wing on it. Uh, we can also go for the HKS uh, non-adjustable ducktail. We've also got the Street Fighter LA race rear wing. That is pretty solid too. Uh, we got the regular Horizon uh, or Forza wing. Or we can go for the crazy chassis mounted rear wing. Man, I think I think this thing's gonna be a race car, so I think we gotta put this on. Let's do it. All right, next up, uh, probably one of the more important things is to actually put some tires on this thing that have some grip. So let's go for three thirty fives on it. Um, that is that is quite fat. We like that. Uh, and let's put three fifteens on the front too, because why not? For the tire compound. So we got the semi slick race tires. Uh, we got drift tires, off road. Yeah, we we're probably just gonna go for the uh, for the race tire compound uh, because that is gonna help us out, I think. So let's go for that. Um, that is pretty solid. Next up, we got the drivetrain here. Let's uh, let's put a transmission in this thing. Um, ooh, how many gears do we want? This thing's at eight speed by default. Um, if we put in some of the other transmissions we can actually adjust it and uh do some other things to it so i'm guessing that um yeah okay so as you go up with the transmissions it actually gets more and more heavy so we're gonna go for this seven speed race transmission because it's close to what we already have but it's actually going to reduce the weight a little bit so let's do that we got the carbon drive line here we're going to go for that too and the diff uh, it's already got a race diff in it, which is what we want. So we're just going to leave that alone. Next up uh, for the platform and handling brakes are something this car definitely needs. Um, it, it does not break very well, as I noticed. So need that. Uh, we've already got the anti-roll bars on it, it looks like. Yes, we do. Next thing we're going to want to do is a weight reduction because I like my cars to be light. So we're going to go for the full weight reduction, I think. And last but not least, um, I am going to upgrade the engine. I'm not going to upgrade it all the way, but I do want to uh, change it up a bit. Oh, the race turbo makes 218 more horsepower. Dude, that's insane. What? Okay, um, hold on. I do want to test something out because I do know that uh, performance upgrades actually change how your car sounds now. So... Oh, this thing doesn't have 433 horsepower stock. I kind of thought that was a bit high. Let's see. Let's see how the car actually sounds. Uh, let's see how it sounds with the default. Okay, so that's how it sounds with the default intake. Put on this one. How about the race intake? I want to see how this sounds. Honestly, I'm not noticing much difference. Oh, this thing has the race exhaust on it. Okay, how does it sound stock? Okay, and then how does it sound with this? Okay, 
Okay, and then how does it sound with race? Okay, the race does actually sound pretty su pretty sweet. So um, that is very cool. Oh, this thing's got cams in it. No wonder it's got so much horsepower. Okay, um, let's just do the single turbo. Let's upgrade it to like 217 horsepower. That that seems pretty good to me. Oh, there's also a bunch of new rims that got added. So I want to check those out. I want to look at my favorite rims, which are ADVs. I really, really like these rims. They look so good in my opinion. And I really, really like the ADV ones. We're going to put these on the car actually. So I think that's pretty much all we're going to do to this thing right now, guys, because I'm honestly pretty low on money. Uh, I, I have 70,000 and this is going to cost 65,000 to upgrade. So we're going to do this. Then we're going to go out and do some races and upgrade this thing more. Let's install the setup. Working, or shall we get these installed? Bro, okay, it, it's getting installed. Okay, now I want to tune the thing. So uh, we are gonna reduce the tire pressure down to like 22 for the rear and now yeah, we'll do 22 for both. Bro, why is the, oh, okay, that's the braking distance. Okay, acceleration, this thing does zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds. That's kind of crazy. Um. Final drive, we'll do it, yeah, we'll do it at 3.55. Uh, the camber can get reduced though, that's too high for my liking. Um, increase the rod height just a tiny, tiny bit. Um, and as far as downforce goes, yeah, I want to want to increase that because we want to have some good some good grip in the corners. So we'll do that. Also, I'm going to increase the, the diff. Uh, I'm going to go about 80 for acceleration and 65 for deceleration so this thing should be if you want to much... paint your ride you're in the right place uh we're gonna paint the car a little bit so the silver is a little bit boring i think oof man that orange kind of looks nice i think i kind of want to go for like a yellow though i don't know yellow is kind of like kind of nice i don't know man i think we're gonna go for this color i don't know what i'm trying to do here what up yeah like that so we got that color done uh we can paint the mirrors Ooh. let's actually paint those let's paint those black the wing can we paint it black yeah let's do that the rims they gotta go black the brake calipers though can we color match it with yes we can sweet and the window tint obviously we gotta tint those all the way out this thing's looking pretty mean um I like that a lot. Whenever it's done saving, we will take it and we will actually race this thing. So let's go out and get into a race. It sounds, it sounds pretty sick. Man, the slightest throttle adjustment, just like, oh man. The handling is so different compared to previous Forza games. Like, it seems like the tires actually like have some degree of grip. It's actually like pretty incredible. Because um, in the previous games, like I would be spinning right now for sure. This is sick, though. Oh, hold on. Let's get that XP board. Hey, amigo. It's there going we go. already, are you? That was an XP board. The Horizon team have hidden them all over Mexico. Bruh. There's plenty more to be discovered if you're feeling adventurous. All right. All right, where were some of these other racing events? I, oh, what the hell? Okay. Um, let's... Oh, the other event was right up here. Okay, we're going to set a waypoint to it. I love the tire smoke. It looks so good. This thing kind of holes. This is sick. In 400 yards, turn right. This thing handles incredibly well now. I really like that. You have arrived at your destination. All right, Horizon Mexico Circuit. Let's get it. Whoa. Okay. All right. Well, let's hop in the super though, because that's that's what we're focused on right now. Here we go. Let's see what this thing can do.
A little bit of a drift in that corner. It was pretty solid. Take the inside line here. We're going to pass everybody. Don't even worry about me, guys. Alright, we're going to get on the inside. Here we go. Here we go. Downshift for this corner. Let the SLK go. Get in right behind him. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh boy, that downshift sounded so good. That was crazy. Man, this thing's just flying now like once once I got the once I got the hang of this handling man oof. I really really like what Horizon 5 has done with uh, with the car handling because it feels a lot better than Forza Horizon 3 and Forza Horizon 4 uh, the cars actually feel like they're you know attached to the road or not attached but you know like they're actually driving on the road not on you know a, a sheet of ice when they're rear wheel drive so I really like it man it feels it feels really good the handling is actually like such a big change it's like the first thing i noticed when i uh, when i started driving in this game so all right here we go boys easy first race for the supra killed it this thing is a monster i like this thing a lot now how much do we actually get paid for that let's find out because uh, i got some more builds that i'm trying to do and i uh, i need some money so pretty solid uh best lap Got a decent amount of XP or almost at level two. All right, that was solid. Now, I think we got a couple wheel spins to open, so let's uh, let's do that. A wheel spins, yeah, we got two here. Let's see if we can win. Ooh, black suede biker jacket. That's not bad, honestly. If you're a clothing item, that's pretty cool. Let's see, what can we get here? Oh, Camaro ZL1. Okay, okay cool very cool all right so that was a that was a pretty solid first race i want to say um do we have any more road races that we can actually do i don't i don't think so man this map is big boys this is sick um i am a little bit anxious to go and explore because i saw these roads in here i'm not sure if these are paved or not but these look like really really exciting roads so i want to head down there so let's actually put down a waypoint we're gonna head on down and uh do a little tiny bit of exploring What a good looking game this is, boys. I'm I'm so impressed. Oh, there's the XP board right there. Hold on. You know we gotta get that. Well we can level up then. I think we get a wheel spin. There we go. Oh, level three. Let's go. Okay, wheel spin. Let, let's do another wheel spin, real quick, before we get to these uh, these cool looking roads. Oh, do you guys hear that turbo noise? That sounds so sick. What? Okay, that's dope. Uh, wheel spin. Let's do another one. Twenty twelve BMW M five. Okay, that's a solid car. Man.
Okay, so this is a paved road. Man, this looks like a really, really nice road to drive on. You have arrived at your destination. I'm excited to see uh, what we can do here. Oh, my bad. Oops. This thing does have a, a slight problem with understeer, I must admit. Man, this road is so sick right now. That's a really, really fun road to drive on. Holy boys, this game, this game is something. If you have never played a Forza Horizon game, this is a great one to start with, that's for sure. Um, I'm going to turn around now. I don't really want to go too far down this road. I don't want to do too much exploring in one episode. So uh, we're going to turn around and we're going to head back to the festival. Oh, we got an XP board on the side of the road right here that we missed. Let's uh, go in and grab that. Oh, is that the XP board that was making that noise? Must have been. This is so sick, guys. I just want to, uh, I just want to test the tire smoke real quick, boys. Now we got another XP board on the way here uh, up to the festival, so we're going to stop and grab this real quick. Because why not? Right. Alright, well, just like that, we're back at the festival. And I think that's pretty much where we're going to end this episode. We got a lot of stuff to do in this game still, obviously. It's only episode two. Um, we're going to leave it there, though, guys. Uh, let me know what you thought of my build. If you have any cars that you want me to customize, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, if not dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.